well-being, helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being, and your coach helping you get over your uh, emotional crap from your parents. So, this video is about uh, mom issues, uh, part two. Now, and this is this is the video where I'm going to um, really good discussion. Love to hear your feedback on on mom issues when it comes to men specifically, um, and why you never really hear about it. Because here's what happens in our society: you hear about people having dad issues on both sides, men and women, and you hear about then you kind of suddenly seldomly hear about you know mothers having bad bad issues with um, their daughters or having relationship issues with their daughters. The one thing you never really hear about, like it's rare, it, it almost seems rare, it's men having issues with their moms. If anything, the only the only issue, mom issues that you hear about with men are men that are have been deemed mama's boys, where they look to their mom as if she's God and she takes care of them, she loves them, and go to and go to the ends of the earth for them and fight for them and the shit. And then that's how men, women, if you're watching women, you don't want to date or be with because his mom will come before you all the time, no matter what. And when she dies and you're still together, you're fucked because then she becomes her status. Her status becomes even higher than you because that's mom. And then there's a possibility. I could be wrong on this. He'll look to you to be his mother on a subconscious level to take care of his needs and all and all his bullshit. You don't want that. So, really, my point in that one was that's the only time you hear about male mom issues. You don't hear about the men that have moms that are abusive, alcoholics, you know, fucked up shit. It's like. It's like tucked away in, in a corner. The only real famous example I can think of of a guy having issues with his mother is the rapper Eminem. He made a song about her, and I, I loved it because at the time I was in high school. Um, what was it? Song Clean um, Clean Out My Closet, and talked about all this crap. And he had beat his mom. He tried to take him to court. At the time, I could relate to that because I was going through issues issues with my mom in high school, and I had a lot of anger. I was like, damn, he did worse than me. And she tried to defend herself. That's the only celebrity rapper I know of, I can think of right now, I've heard of. And, and 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 if there's been more, please let me know. Excuse me, let me know. That a guy coming out and saying, my mom was a bitch, fuck her. She did this, did this and this. You rarely hear about that. Why is that? Because our society loves to make these rules or images and how to portray men and women and if you think about it, it comes to families and relationships men get dogged we you hear about men it's it's it, it, it's pretty much acceptable for a guy to be an asshole in a relationship get married cheat his wife cheat his girlfriend have a bunch of kids and be a deadbeat father and then you have issues on both sides it's like that's it men get men get a bad rap seems to seems be all the time you never hear about the good stuff that men do and the good men actually pay child support and actually give a shit you don't hear about that because society wants to make men look evil now, when it comes to women, it's really funny. Society in in, in in the United States, at least, I'll say that, will glorify women in certain regards and then demonize the shit out of them. And women, if you're watching this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Women become glorified when they become mothers. Like, oh, you're a mom now. You've made it. You're amazing. Boom, boom. You can do no wrong. And that's the trap there. The society has this message, this this stigma, this this covert message that says you can dish your father, da da da. da. You make mama jokes, and those are jokes, but you really can't make fun of mom because that's mom. Mom's been there for her. she get birth to you, she get never can't hear from that much. All the shit, da 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 da. What'd your father do? Got her pregnant, and you know had to work and shit. Like it's a it's a it's almost like taboo to say as a man. Yeah, my mom was the best. Pissing me off, the other shit. It's like wrong. You don't hear about it. But it's completely okay to be like, oh yeah, my dad was an asshole. He's distant, blah, blah. Completely okay. Completely okay. And it's fucked up. And why is that? Because society, it's just the way it is. Society is fueled by hate. And it wants to keep us bound each other. And it's not fair to have to act like... What am I trying to say? This video isn't really planned. It's so much more of an opinion of mine. My, view, my perspective. It's not fair to have this view that men can get away with shit and it's okay. But, you know, if you have legitimate issues with your mother, the woman, the first woman in your life is a guy. Whether you, whether you end up being gay or straight, it doesn't matter. It's like, how do you talk about it? Because I, the thing that's pissed me off, any guy, anyone that's had parent issues understand this, but particularly with mom issues, okay, from a man's perspective, 
not so much woman from from woman's woman's perspective. Guys are like, well, that's your mother. Like, uh, how could you say about her? And like, dude, that's you, to give her a chance, and you know, and you know, and you'll you'll regret this when she dies. And then you're like, and you're like, yeah, if I had a good relationship with her, it makes sense. But like, when you growing up with this stuff, you don't feel respected, and you when you have legitimately tried to work with this person. And you, over the years, you forgive and forgive and forgive, and you think you, you think you're bending backwards to, to to make shit work, and they don't do a goddamn thing to change. But the instant you fuck up, they want to blame you and always hold the cards against you. You get sick of that shit. And anyone's watching, you just have mom issues or, or dad issues. Here's a question: Would you put up with a friend of yours who never forgave, never forgets, always has shit against you, but you would forgive them? You'll go bend over backwards, give them the world, sun, the moon, and stars, and to work with them, and they don't do anything different to work with you. But they expect you to do everything. In a relationship that should be 50-50 work, they're making you do 100% everything else that they do, fucking zero, not a zip, not a... If they do apologize, it's just some bullshit or whatever. They, they may mean it, but they don't do anything. Would you tolerate a friend like that? Would you, would you be friends with them? No, you wouldn't. So, can you blame us for people who grow up this shit to, to feel like, to not want to do this with their parents? Would you tolerate your mom and ever do that? You might say, yeah, well, so what? Who who said you got to tolerate shit because they're your parents? No, you no, you don't. And and then the whole belief is from the Bible says, honor your mother and father. Like, no. And someone said something about that even though the Bible and the Ten Commandments says, honor thy mother and father. It's from the Bible that says... There's rules that like they say no no you don't have to like buy by that forget exactly what it is if you know what they are let me know in the comments below but you don't have to tolerate your parents shit like I'm sorry honor that mother and father even though they abused you psychologically abused you mostly abused you or crack addicts you'd be like I'm not gonna tolerate that shit that's stupid like you wouldn't do that you wouldn't even friend but oh I got to cut my parents no you don't. If you've honestly tried to get through shit, work with them and stuff, pretty sure God's gonna be like, "Yeah, I got you. You're fine." It's not. It, it's not like your parents are always. It's not like it's not like you always owe your parents. You know, if you try to do things and try to work out best of your ability, you're fine. Okay, I will say that. But mom issues and all these things that we have in our society and where things are, you don't have to. It's not right. If you have mom issues, say something, and people want to act like that's not wrong. It's like, dude, you don't understand. Tell them what you've been through if you choose to. It's not right, and it's not fair, and it needs to be more voice. I mean, this needs to be voiced out more, heard more. It needs to be known that, like, moms aren't perfect. Moms make mistakes. Moms can be fucked up, too, just like dads can be. And it's okay, because they're not... They're, it's dumb how suddenly a woman becomes a mother, and all of a sudden, she's like... God. Now, I will say this. I will say this. If a woman is a mom, she can get judged pretty fucking harshly if she's out partying all the time. Oh, I've seen it happen, and, and it's dumb, and I've done it. I'm like, well, you shouldn't. Do, you need to be there for your children. But you don't hear about this so much. But it, she could judge. But even then, that's still kind of swept on the road. Like, it's okay. It's okay. Well, you're a mom, and it's like there's an excuse that well, she's a mom. You know, you know, you can't get on a party like that. They can judge, but then again, it's like it's almost it's like a double, a double, um, double edged sword, you know. So, my whole point again is this: it's like this needs to be talked about. Moms are perfect. It's not taboo to grow up and realize your mom wasn't the best thing ever, and that she didn't get what you needed emotionally. Yeah, and some of that shit. Like, well, weren't there some good moments? There were, but when you have more bullshit than the good, you. It doesn't make up for it, all that. Like, people don't get that. Like, just because my mom was there, she gave me some presents and shit, but then the problems are happening, and the problems continued up. It's like this. It's like, it's like, it's like this. It's like the good moments, the bullshit. Far away is the good moments. I'm pretty sure you'd be like, I can't deal with this shit. But anyways, so... Let me know what you think below. Comment below. What are your thoughts on this? Anyways, like this video. Share it with someone. If you feel like you got some bad from this. Love y'all. Get in the black. Peace.